Right, here we go, City of Westminster sign. Normally in these squares, they have a little bit of history um, uh, of the square in the area, but on this one, you can see it's blank because obviously it doesn't fit into their like pastoral uh, idea of history. This program isn't about history like that. It's, a, it's not about real lives and real people's history. Um, what it would say on here is, um, uh, yes, in Stephen's Gardens, once the haunt of Peter Rackman and prostitutes, you know, so they don't want that on there. You see, they've still got the no dogs. Um, maybe they should have put no blacks, no Irish and no dogs, and then it would have been like the 50s again. Uh, the Empire News called Peter Rackman um, the friend of the black man because uh, he was a major landlord to West Indian immigrants. Um, and all the people that came from the West Indies just, uh, were told as soon as they get off the boat, don't bother looking for somewhere to live, just go and see Rackman and he'll sort you out a flat. So, you know, it, there's a lot of people around here, especially in the West, older West Indian community, have got a lot of time for Rackman. He's a very uh, polarizing figure. This, we're standing outside the El Rio. Well, this used to be the El Rio in Westbourne Park Road. Uh, this was Frank Critchlow's CAF, um, which became a sort of de facto community centre for the West Indian community. And this is where Christine Keeler uh, bought a 10 bob bag of weed uh, that brought down the Tory government in 1963. And this is where Rackman became famous. Um, he was already dead, um, had a heart attack in 90, November 1962, um, but Keeler had been his mistress and Mandy Rice Davis had been his mistress uh, and it came out that he was paying, he owned the flat that they both lived in, in uh, Bryanston Mews in uh, Marlborough. Um, so this is when he became famous and of course he's safely dead, he's a foreigner, uh, so they could all the housing problems in this area could be laid at his door. Uh, you know, you can't. Dead men don't use the libel laws. So I think that's mainly um, why he's so notorious and why he's in the dictionary. Uh, uh, the Rackmanism was coined by Ben Park in the local Labour MP. Uh, and like most MPs, he's trying to make a bit of political capital out of this. So he, he was a nice and convenient scapegoat uh, uh, for uh, all the other people and all the old Etonians and other rich people and colonels that own the housing round here just skated away, uh, never made the papers and still were making money up until the 70s I suppose. Um, so yeah this is the El Rio, the famous El Rio. Christine Keeler met uh, Lucky Gordon in here and she uh, they was doing a bit of dealing, he was doing some dealing in the toilets and uh, Stephen Ward was sitting out here in the car because he looked like a policeman and he used to scare all these people so uh, yeah so that, that's that's that this is where I suppose you could say Rackman made it out of the shadows and became notorious. So we got the cow, divorces, wakes, parties, uh, not named after Christine Keeler I'm told.